The member for Guelph. Thank you, Speaker. My question is for the Premier. The costs of the climate crisis are escalating. The tornado that hit Barrie this summer caused $75 million worth of damages. A rainstorm, three hours in the City of Toronto in 2018, $80 million. Six First Nations communities were evacuated this summer due to forest fires. Poor air quality across the province threatened people's health. Yet climate pollution is going up, not down in Ontario. Pivotal climate negotiations begin next week, and it's vital that Canada's largest province show leadership. So, Speaker, will the Premier commit to sending his minister to COP26 to commit Ontario to cutting the climate pollution in half by 2030 and being net zero by 2045 so we can meet our climate Question. obligations and attract investment and jobs in the green economy? The parliamentary assistant, member for Barry and his Thank you. Uh, thank you, Speaker. There's there's a lot in that question, but uh, more importantly, I wanted to talk about uh, his question about the tornado uh, hat that hit Barry, which is, of course, the community that I'm very humbly and honored to represent. And my heart goes out to all those families that were affected. I know this government uh, worked day in and day out to help uh, those uh, those residents. I was on the ground doing multiple cleanups. We had the premier come in. Thank you to the Solicitor General and um, our Attorney General who came uh, to the forefront as well to help those families. But that is why at the very beginning we talked about the need for a climate impact assessment because every community is very different. And we know that Barrie is prone to tornadoes, and that shows the importance of the climate impact assessment, which is, which is the first of its kind uh, in the province of Ontario. And we're working with all municipalities in order to get that climate impact assessment up and going, because we understand in this government that we need to uh, be investing in our future. And it's going to be things like, uh, you know, the climate impact assessment is going to be incredible, resilient infrastructure. We have $3.7 billion we put in green bonds to help with such infrastructure. Bonds? But unfortunately, the member voted against that type of investment. Thank you. Speaker, of course, we need to study the impact of the climate of the climate crisis. Of course, our hearts go out to the people in Barrie, the people in northern Ontario, the people who have been affected by flooding. Of course, our hearts go out to all those people. But we have an obligation, Speaker, to make the necessary investments in reducing climate pollution so we avoid the climate impacts the government wants to assess. But instead, this government has ripped up charging stations. They're ramping up gas plants and climate pollution. They're supercharging sprawl with Highway 413. So, Speaker, I'm going to ask the government to make a commitment. On the eve of pivotal international negotiations, to say no to Highway 413 Question. and yes to reducing climate pollution. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you, Speaker. We have said yes every step of the way to reducing our greenhouse gas emissions, which is why we're building transit, getting transit-oriented communities and also getting more people on transit, creating different opportunities for the way transit works, whether someone wants to take a GO train or they want to uh, charge their EV vehicle. We have a Minister of Economic Development that's working on an incredible strategy to use the natural resources we have in this province, whether it's uh, Temiskamin that's going to be building a culvert, whether, whether it's going to be Red Lake that has the lithium. Uh, we both have an economic strategy and an environment strategy on the side of the House. But every time and time again when we're trying to get things like more cars off the road, the member opposite uh, opposes it. We know that 80 percent of greenhouse gas emissions come from the transit sector alone, and we know how much idling contributes to greenhouse gas emissions, which is why we know the very importance of investing in, in clean infrastructure as well as uh, supporting our highway appearance, where, of course, many ministers go attend and they do a lot of uh, tree planting along that, uh, along that highway. Speaker, we're balancing the economy and the environment. Thank you.